welcome to my channel. Our lesson for today is journal entries for accounts receivable. But before we proceed, I would like you to click on subscribe and also on the notification bell and please don't forget to like and share. So let us now look into the transaction of a laundry business. Assume that on June 1, the laundry business of Mrs. Ang rendered services amounting to 500 pesos and the customer paid Mrs. Ang in cash. The entry is to debit cash 500 and then credit service income for 500 to record service rendered paid in cash. The cash received from the customer as payment for laundry services rendered increases the asset of the business entity and also increases the income. Now, the following day, which is June 2, the laundry business rendered laundry services to a nearby massage parlor amounting to 1,000 pesos on credit. So, you have to debit accounts receivable 1,000 pesos and then credit service income for 1,000 pesos. Explanation to record services rendered on account. The accounts receivable account was used instead of cash account because the services rendered was on credit. Mrs. Ang was not able to collect cash payment on the day the transaction happened. Now, let us say that the customer from the massage parlor paid his account in full. So, on June 3, the customer from the massage parlor came in to the laundry shop to settle his accounts in full. So, you have to debit cash for 1000 and then credit accounts receivable for 1000 to record collection of receivable. The receivable from the customer was collected in full. Cash account was increased by the amount collected and accounts receivable account was decreased by the same amount. In June 4, a new customer arrived bringing in sold tablecloth from a restaurant located on the next street. Laundry services rendered amounted to 2,000 pesos with the customer paying 50%. So you have to debit cash 1,000 which represents 50% of the 2,000 pesos and then debit accounts receivable 1,000 which represents the remaining 50% of the services rendered and then credit service income 2,000 pesos to record services rendered. The 1,000 pesos recorded in cash account represents 50% of the collection made from the customer. The remaining balance of 50% is recorded as accounts receivable. The full amount of services rendered is recorded as service income regardless of it being collected in full or not. So in June 5, the customer from the restaurant paid 75% of his payable to Mrs. Ang and promised to pay the balance 10 days after. Please remember that Mrs. Ang still has a receivable from the customer from the restaurant of 1,000 pesos and 75% of 1,000 pesos is 750 pesos. So by collecting 75% of the 1,000 pesos, your entry will now be debit cash 750 and then credit accounts receivable 750 to record collection of receivable. The cash account was increased by the partial amount collected and correspondingly, the accounts receivable account was decreased by the same amount. Ten days after, Mrs. Ang finally was able to collect the balance of the receivable from the restaurant owner in full. So, Mrs. Ang now will have to debit cash 250 and credit accounts receivable 250. Explanation to record collection of receivable. Full payment of receivable from the restaurant owner increased cash account by the amount paid and decreased accounts receivable account by the same amount. That's all for now. Again, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click subscribe, click on the notification bell, click like, and then please do share. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you.